Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show how to do a traditional sling carry in a woven wrap. Um, this particular wrap is a size 2, that's my base size minus 4. Um, I'm going to start by finding the middle marker of the wrap. I'm going to put that right under my arm on the side of my body that I prefer to have the baby. I'll bring the tail around me behind my back, straight across, and then up and over my shoulder. Like so, I'm going to gather it up on my shoulder. And then this tail is going to come across my body, nice and snug across my chest. Keeping it snug across my chest makes it easy to get it a good size for the baby. So I'll keep it snug and not twisted at all. So you can see that my top edge is white all the way around. All right. Now I'm going to make a slip knot. If you don't know how to tie a slip knot already, I do have a video on my channel that shows it um, a little bit of a better angle. But I'll take a quick second to explain here. I'm going to hold this tail. This is my working tail. This is my hanging tail. I'm going to hold this tail still. This tail is not going to do anything but hang. The tail coming across my chest is the working tail. It's going to do all of the work of tying the knot. So this tail is going to come straight over the hanging tail. It's going to go under the hanging tail and then up toward my face. Like that. It's going to hang down right over my wrist next to the hanging tail. And now the working tail is going to come under my wrist and under the work, under the hanging tail. I'm going to open my hand and grab it, and I'll pull it through this little loop I just made. And I'll pull it a little snug. Then I'm going to take the working tail on both sides and the knot, pull it a little snug like that, so that it's nice and evenly tightened. And now I'm going to get this about the right size for my baby. My baby's a newborn; he's one month old. I'm going to pull this down just a little, maybe about two inches. Slide the knot to my collarbone, right where I'd like it. And then I have just enough room to sneak my elbow in there. That's about enough room for my baby. So I'm going to pick up my baby now. Come here, baby. This is Ben. He's one month old and about 12 pounds. I'm going to hold him up on my shoulder like I'm going to burp him. Then I take my hand under the sling guide both feet through, and I'm going to just sit, sit him right on the fabric of the sling here. So you can see how his feet want to be positioned. He's got his bottom a little lower than his knees, and I'm going to just allow him to sort of drop down onto my body a little bit, just like that. So I've sort of almost made the seat of my carry. Now I'm going to take my top edge, which is white, and I'm going to spread that up over his back. And my bottom edge, which is green, I'm going to check and make sure that it's going from this knee to this knee. So I'm going to pull it tight at the knot side, make sure it's going from this knee, slide my hand straight over to that knee. And as I do that, I'm finding a little slack, which I'll pull out in a second. Now I just let them settle into that. There we go. You can let your newborn's legs be positioned to any way they are comfortable. Mine likes to have his feet kind of straight down. As they get older, they usually like to turn their feet out. Sometimes if they're still very curled up, they might have their feet in a little. That's okay. Just let your baby find his own comfortable position. All right, now I'm going to tighten up. You can see there's slack here at the top, especially. There's some at the bottom, which you can see just behind me. So to tighten, I'm going to feed the slack from the knot around my back like that. I'll hold it there at the arm. And now I'm going to pull the slack up at the shoulder. I'm going to pin that with my chin for a minute and find the corresponding part of my hanging tail. I'm going to pull that slack down and through with my fingers holding this knot in place. And now I'm just going to work my way through the fabric of the sling. So holding the knot, I'm going to find the next strand, a lighter green, sort of a medium green, and a dark green until I've tightened every bit of slack out of there. I'm going to spread this out over my shoulder. Get it nice and comfortable. And then I'm going to feel around to see if I feel any other slack. I feel a little looseness here in the bottom edge. So I'm going to tighten that one more time too. Find my bottom edge and pull up. And then through the hanging tail, pull down. Now this is pretty well tightened. And there we have a traditional sling carry. This carry is really nice because it's easy to get baby in and out of. You can lower the carry by pulling the knot down. You can raise the carry by leaning forward a little, shifting baby upward, 
and then you hold baby and the knot with one hand. The other hand pulls the working, the hanging tail down while one hand pushes the knot up. Now you've raised your carry again. Um, if you find that this is slipping after a while, you can sort of lock the knot in place. I'm going to slide it up one more time by pulling on the working tail. So I'm going to hold the knot. I'm just going to pull that working tail nice and hard. What that does is makes one loop of the knot a little tighter than the other, which locks the carry into place. And there we have a traditional sling carry with a newborn. Thanks.